Hey guys, we're back with another Revit Tools video. In this video, we'll be covering the Create Similar tool in the Modify tab. So what this is going to do is, it's going to do exactly what it's called. It's going to create similar. So if you look up here, it's actually grayed out, and that's because I don't have an element selected. I can't use this tool without having an element selected first. So maybe what I want to do is create a similar door to this one. So as soon as I click on this door, now I have this tool available to use. And so let's click on that. And well, I mean, it's very simple. What we're getting now is the same selection that I used to uh, used and selected before I clicked on the tool. It's now showing up over here at the left. And so this is a very quick way of saying, hey, I want to select this element first and then second, place that element, use that element somewhere else. And so in this case, it's that door. So now I can just start placing this door everywhere I want to, and it's that same door that I first selected. It's creating similar. So what I like to do is, instead of hitting the tool, the button itself, just use the hotkey CS. So maybe I want to, maybe I know I want to use this same wall. So I can first select this wall, I can hit CS, and now I'm already prompted with this same wall type and again, it's based on type, that now I'm, I'm able to draw this wall. I can draw it wherever I want, and I'm, I'm still drawing it just like I was before. So very, again, a very quick way, and it's gonna work with literally any type of element in the project. You, just, <clears throat> you first have to select it. So maybe I've got this toilet. I can hit CS, and now I, I have that exact toilet over here that I can place anywhere else. It, it would even work with stairs. So I'll click on this full stair, I'll hit CS, and now I'm, I'm completely and fully in the stair creation tool. And now I, it, it's using the same property, the same type of stair, because I have different types of stair. Very simple. I, I, can't, I can't say much else about this tool because there's not. It's so simple. It's, again, this basic countertop, I can show you examples all day. But it's this basic countertop, I can hit CS, and I, I have the same countertop that I can place anywhere else. Very simple, I use this tool all the time. It's invaluable because I don't want, what I want to not have to do is go to our, the architecture tab, go to component, and scroll for days to find a particular component or element in the project that I want to match. You know, yes, you can, you can copy certain things, but if I, for example, copy this wall, I'm literally getting the same length wall, the same everything, like, you know, bottom and base and top attachment, like, I'm getting everything the same. Because if I place that over here, it's the same length and everything. So, with the Create Similar, if I click on this wall, I'll hit CS again, and now it's it's almost like I'm drawing a new wall, because I am. It's, it's not taking any properties of that specific instance of the wall, or element, but instead now saying, I just want to start with that type, and then move forward and make new properties from that specific instance. So again, very simple. Definitely use that a lot. Get used to using it because it's very helpful. So if you learned something today, please demolish that like button. It really helps me a lot. And if you enjoyed videos like this, there's a lot more coming out in the future. If you would, please subscribe. It helps so much. Sure hope you have a wonderful day and thanks for watching.